hi everyone and this is the dress i am going to be making i found this dress on pinterest and i love it and i'm going to be sewing this design so tune stay tuned with me and see the process what i will be doing hi everybody and welcome to another sewing project actually i saw this dress from valentine and i haven't taken any pictures with it i just wanted for you to see what i saw for valentine so i saw this dress which is looking so amazing i saw this design on uh, pinterest on a photo model or something and i thought okay i love it and i wanted to try to see if i can sew it i didn't have a pattern for it i just made my own pattern okay my i have a ground uh pattern which i have but you know i had to figure it out myself how to sew this dress i will show a picture on how the model was looking like on the photo on pinterest and then you see my dress this is the dress I made. I made it only for one day. I was done, not even one day, just really in a short, some hours. It was, and I think it's really looking great. I love it. And yeah, I hope you continue watching the video and see how I managed to sew this dress until it came out like this i love it so much i didn't imagine uh it coming out like this but as a person of willing and when i when i i'm that person who uh when i decide to do something i make sure i do the project today i'll be making so i'm using this pattern to cut to cut so it's just I'm just trying to do a really quick quick one not a complicated one because I'm sure I hope you like it because it will be really really quick and nice and i mean something that you can wear and look elegant in any occasion so i fold it here because it's kind of this style it has it's wider so i'm just cutting it like that and as the measurements, I am not that tall. I am like uh, 158. So I will be using the measurements of like 130. And then I have more for the for cutting the one side of the arm, arm and I have the part to finish the part up there so and we have space to fold it so that's how we're going to do this marking where I'm going to cut this and I have to measure it first before because at least the 
arm should be like 66 well that is enough and I'm going to cut so we have a, this one for the finishing fur so I have to see that this is the front part and this is the back part so I will first cut the the front before I move to the back part This um, fabric is stretchy, so with with this uh, style, we really don't want uh, to do it so wide so that it won't come out really nice. So we have enough also to use. And now I'm going to separate because I already have like back and before I cut the pattern really exactly I have to remove the back part first. So I'm going to remove I'm going to get this part out, which I'll be using it for the back, so that I can finish cutting. I will cut the This is another thing when you are sewing, like you cut double, you have to start from again from the front. So So we have that part, now we're going to cut off the way we want it.
because that's the only part we have to cut is the neckline which we haven't done so but it's not gonna stay like this because it's a uh, um a one a one shoulder dress which i'll be doing it i'll see which side to cut so now we're gonna we're going to cut this part Now you see the difference of the arm hold, the back and the front. The back is deeper. So now we are done with that part. I have to mark this one as, as, because they look almost the same. That is the back. So now I have to So, we have to see where we're going to put the slit. So we are mark, we are putting some marks from the shoulder to to under breast. We just put like almost on the head somewhere yeah under the breast. We're going to put to mark this one. That's where our gathering will start. And And from the, there to here will be like 17. That's where. We have to see that.
so as this part we're going to be having um We're going to measure this. Which should be at the same size until uh, down. going to make sure that it's So the, the, the strip should be lined where you, you, you marked the line. So um, you have to sew one in the middle, two and three. That way we have space to put the string through as well. So that is done. I will be sewing this first that way we have it out of the way I will take it in the machine and I will come back so I just saw the channel here as long as I really wanted it and then I have two strings which they're gonna go through each channel two channels here and then we're going to continue from there first of all I have to cut um, our side I'm going to cut our one shoulder part so that we can continue so I went ahead and made uh, the arm is done I cut it together and now we have to I went together I went ahead to make um, this part which we need for the upper from the neck to the side of the arm so this one will also come like gathering together and this as well and now I'm going to see that uh, to to sew this all together I'm going to join the upper part here with the arm which will also be joined at the armhole actually this is kind of really complicated at the moment but I think you will see the results this is how it's supposed to be and um, I will go ahead and just join everything together and then i will come back so that you can see what i'm trying to say before i join the whole dress we saw this on the sewing machine and then i will join the armhole so everybody this dress is coming along so this part as you can see 
I joined the pants and now I'm going to join the main dress the main dress together then I will do again here the girls that way it makes the gathering and then we're going to create uh going to join up here with the um, with this main dress and then we'll leave a part where the neck is gonna come in and it's gonna we're gonna make it a gathering a little bit that way it don't be so whole you know so now what we do we're going to turn it again upside down that way we can have our so this armhole we're joining it this is the back the back goes again around here to this part and the front comes again as well to the other side and then we're gonna sew it again around here that way it's gonna be together and then this other part we have to do the girls let me just do it right now that way we can sew them together we saw them before we join this uh, part so we need to make some gathering that way it will form a nice pattern I didn't want to stitch it with a uh, with a thread because I don't know I just feel like doing it this way at least you can see how it's supposed to be like that and then I'm going to do to make the other side as well before I join it together Let me do that and I'll come. All right, everybody. Sewing this dress, huh, girl, it's not easy. This is kind of really complicated thing. It really made me sweat, but because I am determined and if I want something, I really, really make sure that I, I just find, I just see the results. So, 
now I'm going to be putting uh, on this okay that's how it's supposed to be this is the necking area this is one arm thin dress this one is coming to the neck it's supposed to be like like that let me just put on the strings and then we pull it i put it in the mannequin where you see before maybe later i will put i will make some photo shooting with the dress so that you can see but i will warn you you want to make this dress this kind of style it's very complicated so now i will put the two strings in one string in each channel pull it up so that when we pull it later we can get our style the way it's supposed to be so i'm starting with one after the other that way our dress will look like supposed to be i hope so actually i've really worked hard for this dress to i mean to let me down so this is another job again to put all this through this tunnel because we have two strings both sides we have to go that way we can have our style look the way we want it to look like so now make the first one is through just put a knot that way it won't go through again when I'm working on the other side yeah it's not looking look <laughs> it's coming out so so you have you see I have both strings up on on top of uh, the dress where I want them to be I'm going to to the sewing machine i saw them that way they stay do the project to the end so i saw this dress within like six hours i guess and i'm glad with the outcome and this is how it went from the scratch to the end of the dress so i hope you like it have fun watching the video and Make sure you subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and let me know what projects you might want to be. I like when I see something, I like to try it. So I have a lot more projects coming soon. And well, let's start um, the video. Let's start the project. Let's see how it's going to work, how it went until this results. It was not easy. It was a hard project because I had to figure it out. But I mean, for those people who saw, uh, who can sew every day, who knows how to sew, I think it's not that bad, but it has more obstacles here and there, but they are manageable. So it's a one shoulder, one shoulder dress, very beautiful. I will take some photos the next time and make sure you check on my instagram at s is s is stacy s stacy r sc creation or you just go to my website i will just line down the blog i have a website blog where i will put down step by step how i went through to manage this dress so let's do it 
and let's start the video.